Greetings. It's another beautiful day in Texas. This is Damon with my aquaponics aquapod video number three. Just wanted to kind of share with you what was going on with my aquaponics. Let me bring my screen down here just for a second. Uh, my aquaponics setup. And I'll go ahead and start here and just kind of go around to the other side and just kind of let you know how things were going. Uh, this is kind of also a what to do and what not to do in aquaponics. As you can tell, you look at my two grow beds and they're kind of a different color. I'm having real issues with this bell siphon here. I've done everything I could uh, and it'll drain and fill sometimes and sometimes it won't. Um, I think probably some of my problem was is I didn't, I kind of plumbed it when I cut it to the eye. I thought I did pretty good as far as trying to get exact measurements but evidently not because it's still having issues I kind of try to manipulate it a little bit so you can kind of see underneath there's still wet rock underneath I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave it because basically according to this system I've got all three different types of aquaponics going on I've got kind of a continual flow here to where it likes it goes up to where the bottom of my small piece of my bell siphon is and it just goes back into the tank it'll feed the roots on the bottom so I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave it and I also have my drain and fill as you can see how that's working also uh, I've got a few more plants in here this just doesn't hasn't done as well as my other one that has all my uh, my lettuce mix and that sort of thing still have my green bean plant and I brought a broccoli up here and then I just transplanted a watermelon of course it looks pretty sad but I just did it today so like I say sometimes it takes uh, one to two days for it to bounce back uh, like I say this is doing pretty good here I have some uh, additions to my fish tank which I wanted to show you let's try to do this before it starts getting too bubbly in here if you can see got some catfish in here hopefully you can see right there and if you look down you can see goldfish also which is real interesting because the catfish aren't eating the goldfish uh, you can go to they have these fish trucks that go around I got like 25 catfish for like 12 bucks um, of course when it starts getting to be bigger and it's kind of lopsided there's too many fish for what I've got growing uh, I'm going to get another tank pull it right down from the pig pen cut the top off and start another system at least that's what the plan is as you can see my aeration is still working pretty good and uh, I want to show you the fish food I'm using uh, there's not much you don't you don't use hardly anything at all this stuff will last forever so I just take a few little pellets so I'll just try to throw them down in there and also the catfish are eating it too which is kind of surprising uh, one thing I wanted to show you if you look down at the bottom my pump is different I had a fountain pump I've gone through two fountain pumps in a month and a half and said I'm finally done with it you can see my screens just kind of land right here because it won't fit over that pump I went ahead and went from a 300 gallon fountain pump to a 210 gallon <coughs> pond pump which I don't know if you see my other video or my my second video if you look up here the stream whoop, sorry, the stream is much better uh, probably should have gone there in the first place if your heart and lungs are the core of what your body does you can't you can't survive without it then your pump and your fish are the core of your aquaponic system right now I'm looking into getting an aerator so at least if my pump ever does go at least the water can be aerated and the fish won't nothing will happen to the fish I've lost two catfish yesterday because my pump went out and since I lived out in the boonies it took me over an hour to go to a store that had a pump come back replace it and then you know get rid of my two dead fish now this may look deceiving uh, I took some transplants and put them in here it's this little tomato plant here's another one here uh, I've got some pepper plants another tomato plant this one is a broccoli plant that I just put in yesterday so that looks a little kind of a little bit on the on the thin side here but I've got more uh, to, God, I can't even talk today more pepper plants here and this is one that's come from seed these two have just been transplanted 
and these have come from seed too. Uh, sometimes with aquaponics you can mess with stuff too much. After about a month, stuff wasn't coming up. I put some more seeds into different pods and just kind of wait, see how it happens. Remember it takes a while for the, the whole cycle to get going. And I pulled this up and lo and behold, look. I don't know if you can see that or not. There you go, yeah. I uh, figured this was for naught, and here you go. I got some stuff growing. Uh, unfortunately, on some of the stuff, I'm not real sure because I just threw seeds in when nothing else was growing. But if you look in here, here's some tomato plants from seeds that have been growing rather quickly. Now, if you look in the bottom, you can see how the water is going through there. Uh, doing a really good job. I try not to get it down too far deep, but just enough to where it stays nice and moist. Let me see here. You can see. Yep. So you can see right here where the roots are starting to come out at the bottom. One thing I did not do as well is on the bottom of these to make sure on the bottom that you have plenty of holes and way down towards the end. I didn't do that on some and if you don't then you won't have ways for your roots to go down and get that nutrients that they need. Uh, one other thing I wanted to tell you is that when I was working on this pipe, you know, with stuff that I had left over, you can see in the back that this pipe is a little bit bowed. Uh, it isn't horrible, but it isn't the best to try to grow stuff. Although, my cilantro that has been transplanted has no complaints whatsoever. Um, don't cinch. I mean, do, do it right. Just because you have something and it's not quite right, you know, go out and buy, I should have gone out and got a different pipe or bought something to make it a little bit more level. It probably would have would have uh, done a little bit better. But, again, this is all a learning curve. So, Also, if you use pipe and you see where I glued it together, don't do that. Because, number one, if you ever need to pull this apart, you're kind of hosed. Unless you want to put the exact same thing somewhere else, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. Uh, just put your fittings together instead of gluing them. And after you get them nice and then they're in there, make sure they go all the way back to the back, right in here. So that make this sure this pipe goes all the way back to back here. Just put some electrical tape before you start running water and you should be good. Oh, one more thing. Um, I decided to start trying to do uh, seeds in something different to where I could go ahead and transplant them. So what I did was is I got these little pods here where you can just plant seeds in. And if you can see right here, I think I can barely see one right there. I just put them in an old gate carton and I take water from here, put it in a cup. Oh, let me see. There you go. Mark Dean's Barbecue. Well, I'm not getting any money for this, but there, it's a nasal. It's a good place to eat. Good barbecue. Put it in the cap from here. Put it up in here. And then I've got the sun coming in here. And it kind of will help it grow. And once they get tall enough, then I'll go ahead and transplant them into these. Or transplant them into these. Alright, I guess that's about all there is for today. Um, I do appreciate everybody watching on YouTube. It's a lot of fun to do this, not just the aquaponics, but also like to share. And I hope you guys share with me too. I know that I've got a few likes or in a few people watching my videos. I do appreciate that. Again, if you have any comments or concerns or questions or anything, feel free and I'll be happy to, to correspond with you. So, that being said, as they say in Texas, y'all have a great day.